my friends and I, we used to think of what we were going to be when we grew up. I wanted to be a police officer. I wanted to fight ogres and trolls and dinosaurs even. I wanted a sword. I wanted a shield and I wanted armor, like a knight. But one day all those dreams were lost. That night, I was sweating so much. I had a headache. It was huge and I couldn't take it. So I went to go see my parents and I told them. I found them under a mountain of pillows. And my dad recognized the symptoms right away. And he, he took me, he drove me to the hospital. I overheard him talking to my mom, saying that he thought I had leukemia and he was right, a day. And then I was condemned to a short, miserable, lonely life. And it killed me because I wanted, I had this dream to be a police officer. I could never fulfill it. One night, a few people came to me and said, Come with us. We'll let you live your dream. So I went with them, and they took me to this place. I can't remember. I think it's Arizona Police Headquarters, maybe. Anyway, so they took me to the mountains. They gave me a uniform, put me on a horse, and they let me fight crimes. They let me fight ogres. They let me fight trolls and dinosaurs. Even. They let me have a sword, a shield, and armor, just like a knight. And one night, they gave me a teddy bear. And forever after that, I used to take him every night, hug him, and think of him as a souvenir of my dream. And he was the last souvenir I had, and that was my last night. Looking back 30 years later, I see that people, those same people, they build a foundation over me. Helping children who have dreams but can never fulfill them. Make-A-Wish Foundation, I believe. And that's it.